Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. On this video, I'll be walking you through uh, GRE Mathematics, uh, which is, uh, I'll be on chapter 9 of our material on GRE, which is absolute value and uh, inequality and absolute value. Before now, we have worked on um, algebra, which is problems, you know, exercise and I mean questions and answer on algebra already on our channel here. It means at this point you can learn inequality and uh, absolute value on this uh, part. There is there are video on inequality and absolute value on our channel already. But this time around we'll be focusing on GRE material, GRE questions and answer. And the question will be from one, which is question one, question one to 15. Question 1 to 15. I think by the end of this video, you will understand that very well. Now, um, don't forget to share and subscribe if you have not subscribed before. Now, in the first question on this pack, which is I have number 1. Question number 1 says that um, I value of x 18, absolute value equals to 9. Now, look at this. This is a we're talking about absolute value and inequality. But the first question we are talking about here is this. Now, I want to know the relationship. Make sure you write the you know, GRE exams. You have to read the instruction at the upper part. There are instructions there already that will, that will guide you the option. The option. Now, and um, I have this type of question. What do I need to do? When you have absolute value, absolute value of any given number, it can be what? Um, okay, of three. Absolute value of this, it's also the what? X can be equals to 3 or my s can be equals to minus 3. But note this, that if I have absolute value of minus 3, my answer is 3. Now, in absolute value, when you have minus inside the absolute value, it's negative out. You know, that is why we have this. Under our real analysis, you will learn more about it. And also, thank of our further solutions academy, we have some videos that guide you this. Now, when you have something like this, with what I've said here, it means when you talk about absolute value of this particular number, it means you can easily say that what? 3x minus 18 equals to 9 or 3x minus 18 equals to minus 9. That is the two possible value of that absolute value. Is that minus or plus? Now, which I will have what? 3x um, equals to what? 27 or um, 3x equals to 9. Take note of that. Now, my s will be equals to 3x. My s will be, which is going to be what? 9. Or my s will be equals to 3. Now, those are the two possible values of x there. Those are the two possible values of x. Is that 3 or 9? It means my s could be what? 3. It could also be what? 9. Now, can we test for the absolute value? If I'm having 3, this, this, it will be what? Can you see? I'm trying to give back here. If I test for what? 3, I'll be having 9 minus 18, which is I'll be having absolute value of what? Equals to 9. This will be what? Minus 9. Absolute value. And which, what I've told you earlier, it will negate it out. It means 9 equals to 9. That is first, it means first possible value, which is going to be 3. And the second one, I'll be having 27 minus 18, absolute value equals to what? 9, which I will be having 9. Absolute value of 9 is also the same thing as 9. Can you see? That's, those are the things that I'm trying to explain there. Now, the next question is, I have um, I have 7y minus 3 less than equals to 4y plus 9. Now, this is a very nice example of an inequality that can come out in any any form. Now, whenever you have something like this, what you just need to do, I will use the word collect like term. Now, my like term will just be what? 7y minus 4y less than equals to 9 plus, plus 3. Now, I will be having, this will be giving me 3y less than equals to what? 12. Now, this will give me y less than equals to what? 4. Now, less than equals to 4. For your information, they said that uh, the s is less than equals to 4. Now, in the option, you can see that um, 
my y is less than equals to 4. I think there are quantity here. You know, check the question. You will understand it better. That is question number 2 of that particular um, uh, problem. Now, I need another one also. I have solved the inequality inequality algebraically algebraically now i have 2z plus 4 greater than equals to minus 18 now i want to solve this something like this what i need to do i will collect like times don't forget collect like times but in jerry you are not you know you don't need to do all these things what are very important what is very important is your conclusion which is your answer because we are talking about multiple choice um exam you know that is what we are going to be talking about here 2z e less than equals to what less than equals to i'll be having minus um, 22 if i should guess right yes minus 22 it means my z will be less than equals to um less than equals to 11 less than equals to minus 11. That is just it. Now, there are two things that normally change in equality signs. The first thing is, when you have x is less than y, when you change this upside down y, will be less than what? Please take note that this can change the inequality. Now, another one is, when you are starting from minus and you end in plus, definitely the inequality sign will also change. For instance, why this will not change, look at this, cannot change, because we still continue with our words, with our minus. Let's assume we have this as plus, you know, plus 11. Definitely the inequality will change. Please take note that the inequality will change. Now, another thing you need to understand here, um, okay, um, just you need to understand that you need to understand. Now, another thing you need to understand here, I have this problem here. I have the, I have the, um, plus 3 all over 2, less than 8. It's another problem there. Watch that. Whenever you have inequality in form of fraction like this, you don't need to stress yourself. Just multiply all through. Multiply. Multiply all through. By what? By 2, which is this fraction. By 2, which I'll be having 2D plus 3, less than what? Uh, 16. I've multiplied all through by two by two. Now, which I will be having 2d um, less than what? 16 minus 3. Which I'll be having 2d less than what? 13. Now, since I have this, my d will be less than what? Minus, I mean will be less than um, 6.5, which is which is 6 over 1 over 2. Now, what I'm doing here is that. I won't change my inequality sign. Why? Because of what? I'm starting from, from plus. I still continue with my plus. Continue with my plus. Also continue with my plus. Continue with my plus. Con now, let's assume that my arrival, I arrived at um, minus 6.5. Definitely, the sign will change, which is from less to uh, great. Please take note of that, those things. They are very, very important. Another thing I need to need you to understand here, I have this problem here. I have four x all by seven less than equals to fifteen plus x. Now also here you need to call cross multiply, but to be easy for you, just multiply, multiply all through by what by seven because this is the fraction we are talking about. Now since I have this four x less than equals to 105 because i'm multiplying this by 7 and uh, plus 7 x now the last thing is just collect like time let's collect like time now at this point what you just need to know is that uh, because you need to understand that uh, what is very important is all these steps are not necessary because we are talking about multiple choice problems you know exams now and your speed is very important um which i'll be having minus three x after collecting like them less than what 105 now <coughs> <coughs> sorry excuse me now <coughs> since i have this since i have this hope i'm not making any 
silly mistake? The answer is no. Now, which I'll be having minus this. Now, since I have this, I will divide both sides by what? Minus 3, minus 3. This will cancel. It means my x. Can you see that uh, everything is what? This. Now, my x, can it still remain at greater? Or, I mean, can it still remain at less? The answer is what? Since it's what? Minus. I'll be adding minus. Um, minus 35. Yes, minus 35. Yes, 35 times 3. I have that. Minus 35. Less than equal to minus 35. Now, why will it be remaining? Can you see that uh, if I put this here, I don't need to change here. Why? Because of what? I'm dividing through by, it means it will still remain the same. That is what you, we are talking about them. Now, I think hope I'm not making any mistake. Now, let me proceed to the next question, which is um, target is to finish the, to hand 15. Now, look at this problem also. Look at this problem. I have three average value of x minus four average value equals to 16. Now, look at this very well. I have this and I have this. What I just need to do, divide all through by what? Three, by three. This will cancel this and the x minus uh, absolute value would be equals to what? Mm. Which is, I'll be having 16 all over three. Now, that is where I will stop. Now, the only problem you just need to do, how do we tackle absolute value? It means x minus 16 equals to what? 16 all over 3. Or x minus, it will be equals to minus 16 all over 3. Minus, uh, can you see what I just make this now? It means there will be a two possible value for the what? For, the, for this. Why? Because of what? Once we talk about absolute value of negative number become positive, and absolute value of like, let me repeat this, x it will be what x, but if I have minus x, it will also be x. It means these two possible value and you know, I think when next time after January, I will work more or extensively on uh, real analysis so that you'll be able to understand all what we are talking about here. Now, this will give us x um, will be equals to what I will be having um, uh, 16 all over 3 my plus 4 or x equals to minus 16 all over 3 plus 4. Now, look at this. I don't need to stress myself. If I want to do it very well, I can reduce this as, um, I can see that this can be 12 all over 3. It will give me 4. 12 all over 3. Can you see? Why? Because of, I'm just playing around with this. F will be equals to, which is uh, 12 plus this. That will be 10. That will be 26. That will be 28. Now, 28. I have 28 all over 3. Or x equals to, um, which is going to be, um, I'm coming, 12 and uh, 16, which is 12 and 16 will give me, um, oh, I'm not making any silly mistake. Okay, it will give me minus 4. Anyway, it will give me minus 4 all over 3. Now, which I'll be having, now, you see that I'm having um x equals to what all over what three or minus four all over what that, that these are the two conditions that will satisfy that that area now um i'm going to the next one still have time to put another in permit me to rub everything here permit me to rub everything Please, you are free free to drop your, your message. You can contact us online on our WhatsApp line and also on our you can see that on our this thing. Okay. You can also email, you can gmail us, you can contact us on any other those things. Now I have this also, which is equal to that. Um okay, I have average value of of x plus six equals to three. And absolute value of um, 2y equals to what? 6. Now, take note of this very well. They are very important. Like this now, my s will be 2 value. My y will be 2 value. Take note of that. Because we are talking about absolute value. It means my x plus 6 
will be equal to 3 or x plus 6 will be equal to minus 3. Take note of that. It means my x will be equal to what? Minus 3 or my x will be equal to minus 9. That is very, very important. Minus 3 and minus 9. Take note of that. Now, maximum value here. Now, maximum, maximum value will be what? Minus 3. Take note of that. Now, also, this also, I have 2y. Um, absolute value equals to 6. It means 2y will be equals to 6 or 2y will be uh, minus, equals to minus 6. Now, which I have y equals to minus 3, I mean 3, or y equals to minus 3. Now, tell me, maximum value, maximum point is just what? Um, 3 and minus 3. Why the minimum point are what? Minus 9 and now, I think you can be able to generate from the equation, there will be an option there. What are the maximum value of what x and y? The maximum value that can x can obtain is what? Minus 3 on minus 3 on x, minus, I mean plus 3 on y. Take note of that very well. Now I have another one which says that um, I have something like this. Why we're having 16 less than 2x less than. 4 less than 12 and uh, what which of the following value of which of the following which of the following be a value of x be a value of x now there are values that are listed there which you need to what are the value we have a we have 4 b we have 15 c we have 17 d we have um, 8 and E, we have um, now. Please, you are expected to add your material too. This just help. Now, when I have something like this, I have 16 less than 2x, 4 less than 12. Now, what I will just do is that 16 less than what? 2x minus 4, which I will treat this first, which I will be having um, 20 less than what? 2x. Now, which is my 10 less than what? x. After dividing both sides. Now I also move on to the next one. Two x minus four less than what twelve. It means two x will be less than less than what sixteen. Now my am I making a mistake? Hope I'm not making a mistake. Oh, okay. Sixteen is coming here. Mm -hmm. Four is coming here, which is very correct. Which I'm very very much okay. Now. Um, that is going to mean that that will be plus, that will be 16, and x will be less than equals to um, uh, um, 8. Now, less than equals to 8. If I were you, I would now say that what? 8 less than x less than what? 10. Now, it means that no, those numbers we are talking about is between, hope I'm not making mistake, yes. Hope I'm not making mistake. Hope I'm not missing up the numbers together. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I've made mistakes. Sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, the question is talking about less than 6, and this is 16, and 16 and 12. This is 12. Sorry about that. If this comes this way, which I'll be having plus, it will be plus, it will be, um, it will be 10, okay, okay, it will be 10, this is not 16, this is 6, sorry, this is 6, because that is why I have to be looking at the option given, okay, I think I'll be having 10, now, which is going to be 5, thank you so much, thank you for your observation, and this is going to be what, it means, I'm talking about 5, 5, and x and what and eight. Now, what are the possible values that are going to be on the, on this? Hope I'm not making a mistake. No. Okay. What are the possible value of this? I know that there is no six. No six here. Mm -hmm. There is no four can never be because four will be somewhere here. Nine will be somewhere here. It means it can never be eight. It can never be five because of less than. It means the answer that will be fitting is seven. Seven is the answer, which is C. Take note of that. My answer is what? C. Now, the next one is if 
if b is less than equal to zero and a all over b less than i mean greater than zero then which of the following must be true now there are options there number one a is greater than zero b is greater than zero and um, they are also equal b is greater than equal to now please take a look at there are options there it means b is not equal to zero if b is equal to zero don't forget that this expression will be what undefined take a look of that if b equals to zero it means i'll be having a all over b all over zero it will be what undefined and that is why it was clearly stated that b must not be equal to what is zero now what i have to do here now for this particular option a all over b to be greater than zero now if this is greater than zero it means that uh, my a my b would surely be greater than what one my i mean my b would surely be greater than what is zero it means my b will be equal to what my b will be greater than what is zero my a can be less than what is zero no problem but my b i mean my a must also be greater than zero it means a is correct a must i mean b must be greater than zero these are the conditions that you need to understand here okay um what else are, okay 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 i have another one if y is less than zero and um and 4x greater than y which of the following could be equal to x all over y now there are options there on the question which is there are options there on the question you are expected to check those options now if i have something like this i have y less than zero and 4x greater than zero now take note of this it means i'll be having x okay i'll be having four to be greater than what y all over what x if you know that it means i'll be having one if i put reciprocal of this reciprocal of this it's what it means it will surely be what one all over four will be less than what um x all over what y because if i reciprocate that i will have that it means on the option when you see one all over four you will note that that is your answer okay and the next one i think i'm getting to the end of the video now if average value of 4y minus 2 equals to 18 which of the following could be uh should be the value of what of what you are looking for of y squared now this i've told you earlier it means 4y minus 2 to be equals to 18 or 4y minus 2 will be equals to minus 18. now that is those things that can happen those two things that can happen it means 4y would be equals to what i have 20 which is what 4y would be what equals to 5. now 5 squared which is y squared will be equals to 25 and the next one would be what um 4y equals to what which is going to be um will be equals to minus 16. now which i'll be having squared which will be uh, minus 4. now 4 squared if i have y squared will be equals to what 16. now it means the possible values there uh, of y squared check the option you will see is that 20, 25 and uh, and 16 and you can easily take it please make sure you take that on the option or boss now just take it and move on please when you talk about gre instruction is very very important and you'll be seeing um g i mean quantity a and quantity b don't just rush into any solution i mean to any question read the upper part of the question which is the instruction given to you then from there you are good to go please take note that don't just rush in 
I have something like this. Okay, I have three brackets of x, three brackets of okay. Am I yes, yes, three brackets of x, three brackets of x minus seven greater than equals to nine. And x minus 7 greater than equals to 3. Now, I have these two. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. This is just like, um, that is very one. And the first inequality is 0 0.25y minus 3 less than equals to 1. Now, you want to find the relationship here. The first one, which I will be having from equality, equality, equality 1 from from equality equality one. Now I'll be having x minus seven greater than equals to what three, and equality two equality two. I'll be having um, zero point two four y would be less than equals to four. Take note of that. I just try to work on them. Now from equal to, I think I'll be having x will be greater than equals to what um 10 and um, y will be less than equals to 16 all over um, all over 0 point which is going to be what 25 all over 100 which i will be turning it upside down which i will be having uh which this would be 100 all over 25 100 all over 25 which I can now say that now it will be 16. Which it will be 16. Now everything will give me 16. Please, at this point, I'm not talking about somebody like that. Now, what will it be the relationship of A and B? What will the relationship be? Now there's no there's no relationship. No relationship. Rela relationship between quantity or I mean quantity A and B. Think of that. There's no relationship between them. I think uh, is that all for today? Okay, there are two questions more before I end this video. There are two questions more. And um, let's try to work on them for better understanding. Look at these two questions. I have this and um, two brackets of x minus 1 cube plus 3 less than equals to 19. Now, I want to check on this. How will I check on this? I just need to work.